श्री अरबिंदो मीरा इज माय रिफ्यूज ओम श्री अरबिंदो शरण मम ओम श्री माता शरण मम नमस्ते गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वंदे मातरम टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ दिस स्पिरिचुअल डिस्कशन इज ऑन मडोना ऑफ माइट मदर ऑफ वर्क्स एंड फोर्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन ए टॉपिक ऑन दिस स्पिरिचुअल टॉपिक कैप्शन विल बी ऑन मडोना ऑफ माइट मदर ऑफ वर्क्स एंड फोर्स आज यू शैल यू शैल इट इज ए डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑन द सोल फोर्सेस सो श्री अरविंद स्पीक्स ऑफ ऑलरेडी वी हैव नोन सोल फोर्स सोल फोर्सेस व्हेन दे आर इफेक्टिव डिस्ट्रॉयज सो अबाउट द सोल फोर्सेस द सोल फोर्स नंबर टू मदर ऑफ माइट मॉडर्न ऑफ माइट मदर ऑफ वर्क्स एंड फोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इन ब्रीफ टुडे सो श्री अरविंद राइट्स योर On past, see in her spirit's upward route. It is not found outside. So past, on past, see in her spirit's upward route. An ardent grandeur climbed mid ferns and rocks. A quiet wind fluttered the heart to warmth. A finer perfume breathed from slender trees. All beautiful grew, subtle and high and strange. Beautiful imagination. Beautiful this description is there. All beautiful grew, subtle and high and strange. Then Sri Aurobindo quotes it. Sri Aurobindo wants to describe the mother. Here on a boulder carved like a huge throne, a woman sat in gold and purple sin. A woman sat in gold and purple sin. How how about her description? Sri Aurobindo keeps uh, describing. Armed with the trident and the thunderbolt, thunderbolt, her feet upon a couch and lion's back. A formidable smile curved its her around her lips. Just imagine how she is described. Sri Aurobindo is describing. Her feet upon a couch and lion's back. A formidable smile curved around her lips. Heaven fire laughed in the corners of her eyes. Just imagine. Her body a mass of courage and heavenly strength. She manages the triumph of the inner gods. This is the power, the power, the might, the works. It has been clearly described, magnificently described by Sri Aurobindo on the soul force number two. So, <clears throat> little crossing, little letter we see. The mother of might looked down on passing things. The mother of might looked down on passing things, listened to the advancing trade of time. Advancing trade of time, she is listening. The mother of might looked down on passing things. Saw the irresistible wheeling of the suns and heard the thunder of the march of God. Just imagine how this mighty mother has been described. Mother of might has been described magnificently by Sri Aurobindo. Amid the swaying forces in their strife, sovereign was her word of luminous command. Her speech, like a war cry, rang on or a pilgrim chant. Her speech, how is her, is her speech is? Her speech, like a war cry, rang or a pilgrim chant. A charm restoring hope in falling hearts aspired the harmony of her puissant voice. Just imagine before listening her voice, how it is described, how delicately it is described. And now we are going to listen the voice and her command because she is the mother might. So, see here in the course here, <coughs> this voice of the, the soul force. The mother of might, modern of might, and her uh, mother of might. How it is beautifully described here. We can see it. Listen, you can see it here right, right now. Modern of might, mother of works and force. Savitri, I am thy secret soul. Her initial approach. Her voice is coming. <clears throat> Savitri, I am thy secret soul. I have come down into the human world and the movement watched by an unsleeping eye and the dark contrariety of the earth's fate and the battle of the bright and somber powers. I am thy secret power. I have come down here. Then I stand upon earth's paths of danger and grief. 
So this path of the earth is filled with danger and grief and help the virtue, unfortunate and save the doomed. This is my purpose of coming. I come, I help the unfortunate and save the doomed. To the strong I bring the garden of their strength. Those who are strong I bring the garden of their strength. To the weak I bring the armor of my force. So I have got I have equal, I am helpful to the both strong and weak. To men who long I carry the coveted joy, I am fortune justifying the great and wise by the sanction of the plaudits of the crowd. My sanction is there, I am bringing fortune to all that justifies the great and wise. So my help is upper all strong and weak and great and wise. So all the crowd, entire crowd, my help is there, my, I save all them. <coughs> all of them then trampling them with the armed heel of fate my ear is leaned to the cry of the oppressed still i see my ears are open my ear is leaned to the cry of the oppressed those who are oppressed my i my ears are over, leaned towards them i topple down the thrones of tyrant tyrant kings the kings who are tyrant tyrant i topple down their thrones a cry comes from the proscribed and hunted lives appealing to me against the pitiless world the cry is coming there is a complaint they claim the against a pitiless world a voice of the forsaken and desolate and the lone prisoner in his dungeon cell i have seen i have heard the voice of the forsaken and desolate in their dingy dungeon cell also i have heard their cry <coughs> The lone prisoner in his dungeon cell, of the voice of the forsaken and desolate, entire cry I attune to, I am leaning to hear them. them. Man hell in my coming, the Almighty's force. Man hell in my coming, in my coming they hell the Almighty's force, because it is with their, I carry them, then hell. Our praise with thankful tears is a severe grace after my arrival, after my coming, this man no, what they do? Hail the Almighty's force or, or praise with thankful tears, the Savior grace. It is coming. They want to be saved. It is for their saving. I smile the titan who bestrides the world. I smile the titan. I smile the titan who bestrides the world. And slay the ogre in his bloodstained drain. It is my duty. It is uh, sometimes to the weak, great, wise, I help them. And uh, I slay the uh, ogre, ogre in his bloodstained drain. Then she gives her own identity. Who is she? I am Durga, goddess of the proud and strong, and Nasmi, queen of the fair and fortunate. I wear the face of Kali when I kill. Just imagine people in our own custody, in our own religious bounds, we uh, worship the goddess like Durga and Nasmi and Kali. So many the goddess we, we keep worshipping, we adore them. She has been the course in this Madonna's voice. In, in the mother's indirect voice, she is speaking of, I am Durga, goddess of the proud and strong, and Lashmi. I am Durga, goddess of the proud and strong, strong, and Lashmi, queen of the fair and fortunate. I wear the face of Kali when I kill. Just imagine all things are embodied in me. I carry all these powers with me. I trample the corpses of the diamond hordes. I am charged with God to do my to do His mark, mighty work. I am here. I have been given charge to do His mighty work. I am charged by God to do His mighty work. Uncaring, I serve His will. Who sent me, me forth? Who sent me forth? I uncaring. I serve her, His will because I am in that. I am for that. I am charged by God to do His mighty work. God has sent me down. Reckless of peril and, peril and earthly consequence, I reason not of the virtue and the of sin, but to do what I did, he has put into my heart. For who is God has sent me the idea, the deputation, I, have, I am charged with a deputation, I have come here on deputation. The charge, the work I have to do for which I am sent by the divine, here I, I reason not of virtue and sin I do. I fear not, the, not for the Hungry frown of heaven, I flinch not from the from the, the red assault of hell. It is not the 
alluring or destroying for me. I fear not, I don't have fear for the angry frown of heaven, nor I flinch from the railed assault of hell. I cross the opposition of the gods, this is my characteristic, I do it here. I cross the opposition of the gods, tread down a million goblin obstacles, I guide all the obstacles, I tread down, I carry out, I, can, I am simply un, non-stoppable, un, non-checkable, I have to go. I, have, I cross the opposition of the gods, tread down a million goblin obstacles and I tread. Then what is the special things? I guide man to the path of the divine. The people, men, they are about to go in the path of the divine and I am here to guide them. And when, what I say next? And guard them from the red wolf and snakes. The path is actually fearful. It is packed with the, the adversary forces and the red wolf, the most demons and all wilds, red wolf and a snake. I set in his mortal hand my heavenly sword. My heavenly sword I put on their hand who actually are in the path of the divine, who are uh, marching ahead towards the divine path path of divinity and put on them the breastplate of the gods put on these people the breastplate of the gods i have given i take them towards the, i guide them towards the path of the divine i break the ignorant god pride of human mind and lead the lead the thought to the wideness of the truth so this ignorance of the ignorant human mind i break them the by break the, their ignorance and lead the thought to the wideness of the truth then Sri Aurobindo, then she quotes again that I rend man's narrow and successful life and force his sorrowful eyes to gaze at the sun that he may die to earth and live in his soul because he is having a soul unconscious of I tend them, I guide them, I in their narrow and successful life I guide so that they may live in the soul. I know the goal, I know the secret route, that is all known to me well. I know the goal, I know the secret route. I have studied the map of the invisible worlds, the worlds that are invisible, the maps yet to be traced, I know, I have studied. I am the battle's head, the journey star. I am not staying behind or I am not hidden, I am not concealed. I am at the I am the battle's head, the journey star, but the great obstinate world resist my word. But actually problem comes, he is good powers I am, still then there is also I have got lacuna. But the great obstinate world resists my word and the crookedness and evil in man's heart is stronger than reason, profounder than the pit. So something obstacles, some hostile powers. They are staying, staying in the man's crookedness, evil in man's heart. It is stronger than reason, profounder than the pit. And the malignancy of the hostile powers pours craftily back the cloak of destiny. And mightier seems than the eternal will. These are seems, they resist, they break, they don't, they feel they are standing as obstacles. So, this mightier seems than the eternal will. These are, this seems mightier than the eternal will. Then, here in the course here, in the mother, in her mother, voice, the cosmic evil is too deep to unroot. The evil is there. Cosmic evil is too deep to unroot. The cosmic suffering is too vast to heal. It is too vast, too great. It can't be healed. Yet to be healed. A few then, then this mother, initially she was speaking, I am doing all for, for all wise, for the weak, for the strong, for the great, for the noble, for the virtue, and I am um, guiding them, I am sub to the suffering and all, I can hear my in my voice, but now she is confining her voice. A few I guide who pass me towards the light, a few I save, the mass falls back unsaved. A few I help, the many strive and fail, this is the thing now itself she is confining from all to a few because she has also got her limitation because the rest thing is the force of the mother but my heart i have hardened and i do my work a few still then he feels that i have i have hardened my i have hardened my heart i do my work slowly the light grows greater in the east slowly the world progresses on god's road his seal is on my task it cannot fail i shall hear the silver swing of heaven's cry gates what god comes when god comes out to meet the soul of the world thank you bande matram